negotiating a 15 million euro purchase of a 30% stake in global media based in Portugal could have just been the opening move for K&J investment outside Macau, according to co-founder Kevin Ho. K&J has been investing in different fields, um, mainly in Macau, for the past six, five to six years. We have done a lot of investments in Macau and then over the past two years in Hong Kong and then um, a, bit, a bit of investment in China. And then we d- realized there is so much that we can do around here. Macau is not a big city. There is not too many good investment opportunities. There are a lot um, different different ones, which we have done already. Um, but if we have to go into something new, um, then we, we want to go abroad. We want to try ourselves and see if we can invest overseas. Um, and being um, a very close tie with Portugal, um, I think it seems normal if we have to go expand ourselves. It's, there are only a few choices. You either go close, then you go to Asia, or if you have to go somewhere uh, with a distance, then you find somewhere that you really know. While the price was initially set at 25 million euros, two years of negotiations pushed it down to 15 million. However, this will only go into new investments and projects for the company, not paying off debt. People said um, I lowered the price because, of course, due to different reasons. But when you look at it, if you go into pure financials without looking at all other different brandings, goodwills, everything, the company made 10 or 15,000 euros last year profit with, with, a num- with a certain number of debt in the bank. Does it worth 50 million for 30%? No. Who says so? You, you, you can argue that it's worth nothing. And so there is not a price that you can determine how much the company is worth. It goes, the, the reason that we have 50 million now is because we agreed no one is, no one is leaving the company. No banks is taking any money to repay debts. This 15 million goes into investments of the new company. But these are not the only projects Mr. Ho has in Portugal, who aims to use Macau as a platform to further enhance links to China. I have a few, few real estate projects. I have a hotel, I have a winery project that we also look into. One of the other reasons that I go into, we decide to invest first project in global media is um, being mechanist too being uh, a mechanist and being Macau, um, using Macau as a platform. Macau has always been asked by the central government or supported by the central government to be the platform for China and Portuguese speaking countries. Honestly, what have we done? We have done nothing. The past 17, 18 years, we have tried to be a platform and then we see Angolan investment, we see Chinese enterprises going to Angola, going to Mozambique, not because of Macau. The 30% stake in global media is equal to that held by co-shareholder José Pedro Suairo. We, being Chinese, um, we trust people. Um, there is no controlling shareholders and there is no, um, no uh, definite yes people. So there is no a particular person that, when I, even myself, if I say a yes, it doesn't mean yes for the whole group. But we have mutual agreements, we have mutual understandings that we will work together and, and, and to have comes up with something that's good for the company. So it's all a collective um, decision making. With other shareholders in global media also having interests elsewhere, such as Angola, could K&J be looking to continue its international expansion? Yes and no. Of course it is, because once we, we made our first step, there, are, there will definitely be second, third or fourth step. Whether it will be only Portugal or whether it will be Europe, we don't know yet. We'll see. Um, Africa. Africa, of course. Um, we talked about when, because of this deal, we are, I'm, I'm actually um, trying to line up um, the Guangzhou uh, Motors, um, where they have their own uh, brand um, to move into Angola. This is something that I'm working on now. But new interest elsewhere doesn't mean the investor has forgotten his hometown. We will have global media in Macau. Um, we will have a news from here. Because in Europe and Macau, the best thing is we, we have different time zones. So when my news from me in Europe is, in, is, is resting, we have our newsroom in Macau that we can provide 24 hours up-to-date news. 
in this part of the world, not only China, Asia, Japan, Korea. And the focus won't only be on Asia. We are not only expanding into Portuguese-speaking countries, we are, expand, we are also expanding into Portuguese outside Portugal. For example, France. We have a million Portuguese living in France. And we have no, no media company, no one has tapped into them. We try to use the modern technologies, trying to hit these people too, to make sure they are still connected to Portugal.